Another important question regarding writing review paper is whether the title of your review paper should be short or lengthy. This is very, very important and it uh, attracts a lot of citations uh, because of the title. You know, when you include such keywords, so it will attract a lot of citations. So let, let, let me show you here the example. If you look into this uh, paper here, uh, this is a uh, in Kim review is explained uh, the, uh, the, the, the uh, impact factor is 72 honeycomb carbon a review of graphene you see the graphene structure is basically like honeycomb you know honeycomb like the hexagonal shape and we know graphene is basically the allotrope of carbon so this review is due the roadmap for uh, uh, for the uh, graphene you see here it's clearly table of contents is here you see, as I explained in my first video, there uh, there must be table of contents (TOC) uh, in a review paper. Right? So this title is very very interesting. You see, very very attractive short title, also generalized title. You need you see. Now, if somebody looking anything about graphene, so they will cite this paper. Let me show you another paper. This is my professor paper. But like said for disensitized solutions, it's a very short title, very interesting. But if I show you now lengthy title here, uh, where is that? Yeah, here. So you see this is this title <laughs> little bit uh, conf not confusing, I say, but this is little bit lengthy title, like characterizations techniques for nanoparticles. Uh, it's fine because they, they will explain all characterization techniques for nanoparticles. What what I know from the title. And again, they mention here comparison and complementary complementarity of studying nanoparticle properties. I don't think we need this uh, extra. But anyhow, uh, this is what uh, I, I says. I also initially keep long title, then I make it short a little bit, like advances in stability of the square solar cell. So generally, uh, title usually start like this: uh, advances. This is very nice one. Advances. Uh, I, I think 5% uh, of the reviews just keep this title. Advances in this, this, and this. Yeah, people, our people write here recent advances. This recent, recent advances mean this, this when, you, when you see paper title like this, so it means that they, they include the latest, the latest work. Like mean now now it is 2023. So this means that they will include from 2016 to onwards somehow like this. You see this advances, right? People also start the title like this: like current progress, right? And people also say like future challenges. So this means that uh, challenges. This means that. When you, when you see uh, the, the title, so this means that they also talk about the current progress, meaning the recent advances, and what are the challenges there, right? So to me, short title works well. Uh, it it includes good and great uh, keywords, right? Keywords, right? This is how you have to choose. And uh, what one of my best suggestion is, you just see how people keep their uh, titles. So. Uh, it, it will help you like my this title turn up your scar so it means very short title and very attractive and people will think that there are there is there, there, in this paper there are everything about tender scar two keywords one is tender another is scar